So, left hand, let's talk about what you can do accompaniment wise. You'll notice that I was doing this kind of thing. We're not going to get into this pattern quite yet, not for kind of the beginner series, but there are tons of patterns. And that's what you want to do. You want to build up your base of knowledge of patterns and you just stick it in there. For now, we're going to use fifth intervals. Okay, now let me go ahead and jump back to here. This is what we call a C5. You're just playing the fifth interval. You're not playing the entire chord, just the fifth interval. So um, in your blues form, you'll be playing this four times in a row. C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Then we're going to go to the fourth note of C. So we have one, two, three, four. And we're going to build a fifth interval here as well. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then we come back to here, C. Four. So we have C four times, then we have F two times, C two times. All right. Then we're going to go up to G. I don't know why that's saying G sus two. That is incorrect. It should be a G five. That should be a G five. Um, you're going to play that twice, once, twice, and then back down to C five and play it twice. Okay, that is the very, very generic blues form. Um, and from here, you can work your way into more um, complex um, substitutions of chords to make it more interesting, more jazz-like or more gospel-like or um, more pop-like. There's just different ways to play the blues or just different types of blues styles. Chicago blues, Memphis blues, St. Louis blues, all different kinds of blue styles.